Hi, this is Miss Campos, and for today's lesson, we're going to learn all about winter snowflakes. You can create snowflakes using a variety of media. Here we have different snowflakes, and you can even create a frame for your snowflake. You can make more than one snowflake. Here is the life cycle of a snowflake. Water from lakes and oceans evaporates and become water droplets that then accumulate in clouds that then go down to the earth as ice crystal and then as snowflakes. Here's the life cycle of a snowflake again. And here's a quick poem, snowflakes, snowflakes, dance all around, snowflakes, snowflakes, touch the ground, snowflakes, snowflakes in the air, snowflakes, snowflakes everywhere. You can make your own snowflake poem if you'd like. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a snowflake. First, you draw a diagonal line. In step one. Step two, you make two diagonal lines to make an X. Step three, you make, you have the X with a horizontal line that goes across the X. In step four, you have the X with the horizontal line with then a vertical line that goes straight up and down. So it's an X with a T on top. Step five, you can put little designs at the ends to make your snowflake. You can use a snowflake template and then make dots on top with, your, with paint and your finger or a sponge or a brush, whatever you would like to use. You can use watercolor paints and a stamper or a stencil to create a snowflake and a background for your snowflake. You can use popsicle sticks to create a snowflake. You can add gems and glitter. You can use Q-tips glued together to create your snowflake. You can also use the Q-tip to paint your snowflake and you can create different patterns. You can use yarn to create your snowflake. You can make a symmetrical pattern with dot markers or stampers. You can do a wax resist. And what that is, is you use a white crayon and make draw your snowflake on the white paper and then you put watercolor on top and then wherever you put the white crayon it'll show through like a secret message you can use scrunched up tissue paper to make your snowflake or torn bits of paper to create your snowflake you can cut out your snowflake and glue it onto construction paper um, and put different designs, different shapes of cutout paper, or you can make a 3D paper snowflake. So these are just a couple of different ways to create snowflakes. I can't wait to see all the wonderful ways that you will create your snowflake. You can submit it to me via the Google Classroom, or you can draw your snowflake during our Google Meets. I can't wait to see all the creative ways that you have to create your winter scene.